Wednesday and Thursday, January 3rd and 4th. So there goes New Year's. Now, I asked all of you a couple times to remember a word. Today is the first time in weeks that the moon is in Libra, squaring the sun in Capricorn. But the moon is in air and we haven't had much air and there's a lot of planets in blunt, fiery Sag, Mercury, Mars, and Venus. Mercury, Mars, and Venus all in Sagittarius and the sun's in Capricorn. Let's take advantage of moon being in Libra. So you picked a word or did you? And now you're going to start assessing, is this a real New Year's resolution? Because if you are a Libra, they change their mind 12 times. This is why the square is so strong. Capricorns don't change their mind 12 times, and Libras have another idea. Well, they just decided maybe they should do this. They wanted to ask your opinion. And that's a really challenging connection between a Capricorn with Moon and Libra. Here's the high road. Because in everything in astrology, I hope you know this, everything in astrology has a low road and a high road. This is what my new book will be about in a year from now it's coming out. It's called I Don't Believe in Astrology. It's for the people that don't. So probably you aren't going to want to read it. But maybe this will interest you. When there's a square between the sun and the moon and we're just at a New Year's and we're really being real with ourselves, there's tension. Capricorn says, say it, do it, mean it, follow through, pay for it, make sure you got a deal. Libra says, I don't care about the deal. I don't really care if I change my mind. And by the way, I have another idea. It's not what I started with. So they conflict inside someone. The high road, however, is they're both initiators. Capricorn start the business. They have the spreadsheets. They have the goals. They have the profit margins. And then Libra find the HR, the people on the team that will implement, the ones they can get along with best. They look at all the resumes. It's a great business person. So if you made a New Year resolution and one of your words was goals or accomplishments, I'm helping you with words in case you didn't pick one, this is definitely the square energy that creates tension. And some people live in their life with a sun, square, moon. That's real. You learn this in astrology. And that means they have tension. But you know what tension does? Makes you get up and go when there's three planets in Sag. So these couple of days, Wednesday and Thursday, you have the option to use the tension in the sky if you are a Libra, an Aries, a Capricorn, or a Cancer, and you might feel it. But the most important thing when the moon's in Libra is to be okay with changing your mind. Maybe you need a new word. Let's be real about a new year resolution. That's what I'm talking about. And astrology answers wanted me to say, when the moon's in Libra, it's okay to just get a little funny and sweet and change your mind right in the middle of the movie. And Capricorn's going to say, okay, let me write that down now. Let's glue it. <laughs> and then you're going to say, okay, astrology answers and Deborah told me it was time for me to make my final decision, stick to it, new year resolution that I can really fulfill. And that's what Capricorn's looking for. Consistency and follow through. Do you have it?